Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix flickering lights, basically a deflicker effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified for my next upload. You can also follow my social medias, the links will be in the description below. So every now and then I run into a problem when I film event videos. Um, Sometimes you have like fluorescent lights or any sort of lighting that has a flickering effect in the background. So in this video, I am going to be showing you how to remove the flickering light effect, the strobing light effect, whatever you want to call it. You can reduce the flicker inside your camera. You can do this by lowering the shutter speed, but sometimes you don't want to do that because you'll see unnatural motion blur. So of course, this is the last resort. All right, so let's begin. So for example, I'm just going to start with this clip here. So in this video, you can see that there's a little bit of light flicker from these portable event stadium sort of lights. So I'm just going to drag this clip in. So there are two ways to fix this video. So if you have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, you can scroll down to Resolve revival in open effects in your effects library and you can just whack on the flicker and it will automatically detect where the flickering is happening and it will fix it but if you have the free version you're going to have the watermark on here so to not have the watermark let's just get rid of this effect so the other way to do this is you can let's just Let's get out of the effects library. You make sure you highlight the clip and then you go into control C, then just go to the end here and control V or command C and command V if you're on a Mac and then we'll just drag this on top. Depending on how much flicker you have will depend on how many times you want to duplicate. So since this is relatively minimal flicker, you can just get away with duplicating it once so let's just go over here so you go to the beginning of your um clip and then just go over a frame use your arrow keys on your keyboard and then just drag the clip over a little bit and then now you go up to the inspector tab up here and go into opacity and then just drag it down a little bit i'll keep it around 40 percent and as you can see it's pretty much removed the light flicker now this works best if you have small movement because if you look here you can see it's kind of duplicated the frames added a little bit of like a uh, ghosting effect um, so let's just bring this up to 100 so as you can see the smaller the movements in your shots the easier it is to fix but yeah as you can see it's fixed the deflicker effect has worked but now let's show you a little bit more of a complicated effect. So let's just go to this clip. I've already chosen my in and out points. So I might just um, drag this into my timeline. And as you can see, there is quite a fair bit of flicker. Now this one's going to be a little bit more trickier to fix. So let's just control C. Just make sure the clip is selected. Then control C, control V. I'm gonna duplicate it twice for now. And I'm just gonna stack them on top. So with a bit more of a flicker like this clip, you wanna bring your second video layer, bring it over a frame, drag it over, and now go to the top frame and go over twice from that frame, and then uh, drag it over. All you gotta do is pretty much the same thing, but bring it down to like 30%, and then click up the top here and go into about 60%. So that didn't really do too much. We'll just bring this up a little bit. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of tweaking. I might just go back here and go back a frame. Let's, let's try to remove it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these clips and I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a new compound clip. Call it whatever you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as is. So now it's kind of, it's pretty much combined the clips into one. 
Think of it like the pre-compose inside of After Effects. It just it just puts everything into one clip. So let's just duplicate it. Control C, Control V, stack it on top. Let's just go over a frame. And let's bring it down to about 30%. So now it's pretty much removed the flickering inside of your clip. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of flicker over here, but that's okay. We've reduced it to as much as we can. So this is our reduced flicker, and then this is before. So as you can tell, there's a fair bit of a difference here. So um, I hope you found this little video tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and stay notified for my next DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I do plan to do more of these like fix it in post style tutorials where I show you how to fix your footage or some cool tricks that I think editors should just know for when it comes to editing clips and basic effects sort of stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like as well and follow my social medias the links will be in the descriptions below and yeah thank you for watching